Mr. Borla, can I ask you, when did you know that the vaccines didn't stop transmission? How long did you know that without saying it publicly? Thank you very much. I'm sorry. To that question. I mean, we, we now know that the vaccines didn't stop transmission, but why did you keep it secret? You said it was 100% effective, then 90%, then 80%, then 70%. But we now know that the vaccines do not trans stop transmission. Why did you keep that secret? Have a nice day. I won't have a nice day until I know the answer. Why did you keep it a secret that your vaccine did not stop transmission? Is it time to apologize to the world, sir, to give refunds back to the countries that poured all their money into your vaccine that doesn't work, your ineffective vaccine? Yeah, you have a little bit of right. Are you not ashamed of what you've done in the last couple of years? Do you have any apologies to the public, sir? Are you proud of it? You've made millions on the backs of people's entire livelihoods. How does that feel to walk the streets as a millionaire on the backs of the regular person at home in Australia, in England, in Canada? What do you think about on your yacht, sir? What do you think about on your private jet? Are you worried about product liability? Are you worried about myocarditis? What about the sudden deaths? What do you have to say about young men dropping dead of heart attacks every day? Why won't you answer these basic questions? No apology, sir. Do you, do you think you should be charged criminally for, for some of the criminal behavior you've obviously been a part of? How much money have you personally made off the vaccine? How many boosters do you think it'll take for you to be happy enough with your earnings? Nothing. Who did you meet with here in secret? Will you disclose who you met with? Who did you pay commissions to? In the past, Pfizer has paid $2.3 billion in fines for deceptive marketing. Have you engaged in that same conduct again? Are you under investigation like you were before for your deceptive marketing, sir? If any other product in the world doesn't work as promised, you get a refund. Should you not refund to countries that laid out billions for your ineffective vaccine? Are you used to only sympathetic media so you don't know how to answer any questions? Is that it? Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. That's Albert Bula, the boss of Pfizer. His people were pushing us around a little bit. Mate, he's pretty fit. I don't reckon he's had one jab. I'm huffing and puffing a bit. At least I didn't have any myocarditis. <laughs> um, I, I, I dare say he's shocked that in his safe space at the WEF here in Davos that he was challenged in a way that he's never to date been challenged. Well, that's the thing. We're not accredited media here. We're on the outside of the perimeter. So he's only used to the softballs from CNN and MSNBC and people like that. I asked him a real question about product liability, no answer. A real question about Pfizer's past deceptive practices. You know, they paid the largest fine in American history to the Justice Department for deceptive marketing. I don't know if that's underway right now. I don't know if they're being investigated, but I think they should be. When did he know that the vaccine didn't actually stop transmission? I wanted to find out because surely he knew before we knew. Why didn't he tell us? I don't know, Avi, I'm really proud of that. Uh, question at it was like a kind of walking scrum a joint effort there because I know it's very hard when you're working in the moment as well, to actually remember all the all the activities that these people that these these people are criminals in my book I, you know the, the stuff that they've engaged in the last two years they need to be held accountable for and in the moment that you don't usually get this much time he had a bit of a walk and to to actually work together and be able to work around those trying to protect him it was it was it was exactly what i feel we're here for that big gorilla guy was sort of pushing me around a bit but you know i've, I've got a low center of gravity myself um i'm worried about one thing though avi pfizer is connected to big media in an enormous way um I'm worried that they're going to try and block this video. I'm worried they're going to try and cancel it on YouTube, on Twitter, 
on Instagram, on Facebook, places like that. So I want to look straight at the camera and say, folks, if you cannot find this video out there, go to wefreports.com. That's a special website we've set up for the World Economic Forum, wefreports.com. And if you feel moved by our coverage, please consider chipping in because we're 100% crowdfunded. Obviously, we get no ad money. We've been completely demonetized. But if you like that kind of accountability journalism, Avi Yamini from Australia, I'm Ezra Levant from Canada. We've got a great team from around the world. Please go to wefreports.com. Last word to you, Avi. And no matter where they cancel this video, we will update and have a current version there at wefreports.com. And there you can share all the content from all the guys on the ground here um, doing outstanding work. And if you agree that it is as important as and as outstanding as I think it is, then please chip in a couple of dollars uh, to help pay the cost to do this. Yeah, well, that was a great moment. We'll have plenty more. Congrats, my friend. All right, Ezra Levant and Nabi Amini for Rebel News.